What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And yesterday when I reported on this new Twitter feature, not not a benefit, a, a feature, uh, I talked about how, of course, it would be used by people who want to hide being awful. And that's exactly what is happening. After less than 12 hours, I've got several examples to share with you of people that should absolutely be in the public space, in my opinion, using this brand new feature to remove uh, what I could only describe as evidence of just terrible, terrible behavior. I'll give you a quick um, overview. Obviously, most people are not a fan of this. This is for corporations. This is for political reasons. This is for, um, you know, banning memes. It's it's just exactly what it's for. Um, I don't think anyone was requesting this. And look, as as somebody whose face is used in uh, a meme that, you know, several memes that are not, I believe, not representative of my opinions and paint me in a really negative light, I don't care. I won't be blocking them or removing them. It's to protect politicians, corporations, and apparently the absolute worst of society. We'll, we'll just t take a second here. New Twitter CEO, uh, Twitter rules CEO, uh, signal uh, the signals that social media still giant still doesn't understand freedom of speech. Oh, but they do understand freedom of speech. They absolutely understand it. They don't like it. There's a difference. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey resigned from his post this week, and replacement his replacement was named to the job. Questions immediately circulated over what would it mean for speech on Twitter. Dorsey has famously banned President Donald Trump, but continued to allow accounts from despots and their spokespeople in places like North Korea and Iran. Uh, would the new CEO take the similar nonsensical measures? In an interview with MIT Technology last year, uh, the new CEO said that one of the changes today is that we see speech is easy on the internet. Most people can speak. Where our role is particularly emphasized is who can be heard. Of course, who can we ban? The scarce commodity today is attention. There's a lot of content out there, a lot of tweets out there. Not all of it gets attention. Some subset of it does. So increasingly, our role is moving toward how we recommend content. And that sort of is a struggle that we're working through in terms of how to, we make sure these recommendation systems that we're building, how we direct people's attention. Keyword there, friends. How do we direct people's attention look just like on on youtube for example i have what 1.1 million subscribers on youtube a good video for me maybe gets 150,000 views maybe 200,000 views on twitter i don't know how many followers i have on twitter maybe 120 or 150,000 or something like that a good post for me which is usually a post of my animals my dog or my cats might get 500 likes I have tens of thousands of followers on my Facebook page. Same thing there. Very rarely will a post get more than a couple of hundred likes. And it's because of this directing people's attention. Facebook doesn't want you to see my post. It's why when Parler launched and everybody was flooding there, I had in 12 hours, 170,000 followers on Parler or something like that. It was insane. I would post something and it would get thousands of interactions. And it was like, wow, this is what it feels like to be unshadow banned, uncensored. And of course, we know what happened with Parler. I know they're trying to make a, a comeback. And then there's Getter and there's Gab. Each one of these alt texts, you know, see a surge every time something like this happens. But people are still addicted to Twitter. And it it's like, to give you an example, the amount of work it takes for me to embrace alt tech is immense. I record a video. I post a, a link about it on Twitter. Then I post a link about it on Gab. Then I post a link about it on Getter. Then I post a link about it on Minds. Then it gets uploaded to Odyssey and, and BitChute All of, and Rumble. All of these things happen. But I'm probably in the 0.01% of the population on YouTube that does all this work. Me and Six Hexenhammer, that's it. As far as that I know of, that are populating, going out of their way to try and interact with people on these alt tech platforms. So 
it's it's difficult to break free of that. And what we're seeing from Twitter is more control. And it's not what you want to see. It's what they want you to see. The new CEO certainly doesn't sound like he believes Twitter's role is to facilitate free speech. The day after the announcement, Twitter announced changes to its private information policy, where they are notified where, uh, when we are notified by individuals depicted or by an authorized representative that they do not consent to having their private image or video shared or video or video, we remove it. Who is this for? This is for the peaceful protesters from the summer of love. This is for uh, all those losers in the armpit of the United States in Portland, Oregon. By the way, I love my Portland viewers, but, you know, the, I'm not talking about you. You know, I'm talking about these Chaz idiots, you know. When they want to get up to no good, this is uh, get rid of accounts like Andy No, uh, who will commonly post criminals on uh, in the act on Twitter. Uh, this is to get rid of people like Libs of TikTok, which, you know, oftentimes post videos or post videos of these, you know, people being crazy. However, uh, or this is to go after Defiant L's, for example. I'm going to start putting my face on every one of my thumbnails. So then anytime somebody posts one of my videos to Twitter, I can just take it down. This is the, how people will use it. Defiant L's, uh, you know, th this is a one way target. You don't see the, you know, popular right wing ver or left wing versions of all this stuff. It doesn't exist. I mean, if it does, it's nowhere near as popular because the left really can't meme. Now they do at times. There's a couple memes of me where it's like, oh, you put a black person in Star Wars, you made it political. I've never actually said that, but I've seen that tweet get like 50,000 likes or something like that. I'll just delete it from now on. Ha ha, get wrecked libs. I, I mean, why wouldn't I? I don't consent to this. It's making fun of me. You know, take me in anything where people are using my picture and they're making fun of me. I'll just take it down. That's how this is going to, that's how this is going to go. Right now, will it spawn some new version? Yeah, certainly the internet moves quickly and uh, it will, you know, find some new way to exist. Memes will evolve. Twitter's policy sparks controversy just one day. This is a nice, well-intentioned idea that sounds like an absolute horror show to actually implement, implement and enforce. How are you going to, I mean, you're, you're asking for, you know, thousands of new staff members to, you know, police photographs of people. And how do you actually prove that it's you? Am I uploading my driver's license, my personal, you know, information? Am I uploading that to Twitter so that I can take down a picture of somebody making fun of me? I'll never do that. But politicians have staff that will do that. Corporations have staff that will do that. Maps, as they call themselves, have every incentive to do that. People who are, are committing, uh, who are burning buildings down, they have every right to do that. I'm sorry, every incentive to do that. So uh, is that it now? We're going to stop solving crimes on Twitter or is it just crimes by people on the right. This is absolute insanity and it's playing out to its natural conclusion already. Shout out to uh, Toad McKinley posting this. Day one of Twitter's new rule sharing against sharing private media already been used by, we'll call them the worst kind of people on the planet. I think you know what I mean to prevent users from warning other people about them. So people that enjoy their tender time with animals can now use Twitter as a place to network and meet up and plan meetups. And if you try to stop it, you get suspended. You see Toad saying, hello furries. This is Toggle the Rat, host of a, a just an awful podcast. Um, he is a proud person that lays with animals. He is one of he he's going to your conventions, Midwest Fur Fest. His real name is this. Um, and his fursona is that. Now, 
it's a little dicey when you get close to doxing. But this is like literal helpful information to, pr to, pr to protect people. And immediately got taken down by that person. So if you're a creep, you're going to be able to just go around online and take down anything that's out there protecting people against you. One might wonder if that's what Twitter really wants. I hope you enjoyed this video. Try out Alt Tech. Try Getter. Try Minds. Try Gab. Pick one and try it. I bet you'll like it. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.